during the first months of full-scale war, Russia had total superiority in heavy vehicles and tanks. To counter this, the Ukrainian army adopted bold and daring tactics of fighting in small but highly mobile groups, often using civilian cars. Many of those cars were donated by people around the globe. Adam, a British citizen living in LA, is an owner of an animation studio in California. He already bought three pickups, gave them an artistic touch, and volunteered to deliver one of them to the soldiers in the Donetsk region. It's uh, 6 a.m. and uh, we're just uh, fueling up the vehicles, uh, getting ready to uh, drive another few hours to drop off uh, both the cars with the Ukrainian armed forces. After crossing the Polish-Ukrainian border, pickup trucks get transferred to a joint initiative called Car for Ukraine based in Lviv. Here the trucks undergo a serious remand process to become the ultimate fighting machine. But the armored and paint are not what transforms a farmer's pickup into a war machine. It's a machine gun mount that allows to deal heavy damage to the enemy even on the move. We follow Adam into the Donetsk region, where he meets the soldiers who will take the donations straight to the battlefield in just a few hours. Where is this car going? In a few hours we're going to Bakhmut. It's important for me to uh, hand this car over to incredible people, incredibly brave, incredibly strong. I look forward to them uh, coming home safe and uh, well. A hundred miles from here, soldiers of 36th Marine Brigade hone their skills in between battles. Near Donetsk, the front line is as heavy as ever, having remained more or less unchanged for the last nine years, since the occupation of Donetsk in 2014. This unit receives three upgraded pickup trucks donated by various donors around the world. Those cars help Ukrainian troops stay mobile and perform various missions. We can drop by one position, work here, shift to the next if necessary, work somewhere else, for example drive behind a soil chip like that. In terms of the mobility, these turrets are super cool. The Car for Ukraine initiative alone has delivered 184 pickup trucks to soldiers at the front line. Thanks to joint efforts of people like Adam, thousands of vehicles help Ukrainian troops fight against the invaders. I'm 58 and it's the first time something really connected to me. The injustice, the bullshit. Uh, coming out of Russia to, you know, do what they've done. I mean, there's no great uh, news there. And I became very angry. And I wish people would make more of an effort. It's very easy to donate money and that's, they should do that. And not everyone can come to Ukraine. But for me, it was important to be here and show solidarity. You know, that it was important for, for Ukrainians, I think, to see people like me, people from all over the world, um, I think is a sense of strength for them. I hope so anyway, that they feel, you know, the rest of the world is, is behind them and that's important.